Okay, das wird Hello, welcome uh, to this workshop. Um, I'm very happy to be again in Moscow. And uh, one thing I want to say to you, now you heard or you hear three presentations and you will see different kinds of techniques. And after this workshop, you will be totally confused because any, everybody does it totally different. So for you and what I want to give you on the way, is that you make your own idea, you get your impressions, and uh, one thing for sure, what you get on the way is to be on the safe side. So if you're taking cannulas, if you're taking needles, if you have a concept, it's up to you, your artistic impressions, and you will find your own way. Rely on that what you are doing. Rely on that what you can do. Be safe and uh, make yourself and your patients a happy day. So, first of all is to analyze the face. And uh, my, my duty is not to overdo and not to change the identity. I think this is the most important thing we have to do. And we have to keep in our mind most of the patients or the clients that are no patients, in fact, they're clients, come to your office because they want to look younger and fresher, maybe only fresher. So don't change their faces. You only have to change their faces if they're ugly, but most of the times uh, not ugly patients are coming to your office. So as uh, uh, we make here, when we start, you can make, if you're a beginner, I would suggest to you to make the drawings of the face because uh, it gives you a safe a, a approval and a, a approach to the whole thing. I love it to do the global facial treatment. So when you're a starter, of course, you will focus on one area. But if you're advanced and you have the right clients with the right amount of uh, money in their pocket, so we'll, you can come to the more global treatment. Which means we've heard about it and we see we have uh, the aging process which Bernard explained so very nicely. We have the deflation and in her face, you can, uh, could you sit up? Yeah. Because then we can really see it uh, quite good. We have a deflation in the temple area, which I think it's uh, very crucial to work on it. Then we have a slight deflation here and also a little bit of a sagging, which means with a sm small amount of, uh, of volume, you can approve this appearance around the orbital rim. We have this light sagging of uh, the volume here and the deflation, and she's got some baggy eyelids here, so we can camouflage the whole area with a little bit of a filler here. Then I personally of, uh, think there is a place for injecting the nasal label. Uh, in fact, if it's deep like this, and this is the most important corner here. So if you're doing the injection here, and most of the patients who come to your office and say, I have just um, like uh, 300 Euro, uh, euros to uh, offer you as a doctor, so what can you do? You can do the whole facial treatment in my praxis. So you will focus on an area and mostly you start with the native labels because you get there, if you just have one syringe to use, you get the most impressive uh, outcome if you treat just this triangle or if you treat the, na the corners of the mouth, you see those droopings and you he have these marionette lines. So we will focus here, going down there, nasal labels, then we go to the corner of the mouth. And as Bernard also has shown very, very perfectly, is you have the sagging in the midline of this vector. So you have one retaining ligament here and one retaining ligament here. So here, this is the channel where the tissue may, uh, may sag due to the gravity. So to restore the contour of the mandibula, you can make some injection here and here and spare this one. At least we'll be focus on the mental labial crease and give some slight projection on the mental area. Now we're coming to, in the dark uh, lines, this shows you 
The first is the facial nerve. Normally you don't have a problem with the facial nerve. Sometimes you can hit them with a needle. So she might have a paralyzed, it might have. It's really, really seldom. So it might be paralyzed. But if you know where the nerve is going and if you're using a cannula, you're taking the bone and um, making your injections here, then you're on the safe side. Also here, if you're staying upwards, you don't have a problem. Now, the most important thing, I think, and uh, this is the problem zone where more and more uh, problems are occurring in the last uh, uh, decades, is that you have the facial artery, which is running up here, giving some branches to the lips, running up here. And now this is the danger zone. And uh, that's also something I want to give you on the way. Everyone is starting with the nasolabials, but remind and remember that the angular artery is right uh, in this area, so be very superficial or take the cannula to work in this area, because if you go to down too deeply, it might be a problem, as it will show you in the presentation afterwards. Then it rises up here and gives up the supratrochlear artery, which ends up in the frontal area. And this is also what Alexander told you, this is a high-risk area. And most of the problems occurred here due to interarterial injection and retrograde embolism. So she's, this artery is running in these frown lines up here, uh, which is really good to remember when you're doing your injections here. Okay, so let's start. Thank you. Um, i show you how sometimes I mix. I mix <coughs> a 0 0.2 cc of lidocaine with, uh, with the fillers. Uh, this is because I want to have uh, a little bit of uh, an anesthesia in the area which I'm treating, and I take this female-to-female -female connector, and I mix it. It doesn't change the structure of the substance that much. It gets in more fluid, and uh, you have an anesthesia, and uh, it might be good. So. In the, in the upcoming month, there will be a filler with lidocaine on the market. So sometimes you can mix it because sometimes it makes a good infiltration possibility after having this substance mixed. Okay. Thank you. I take this with a cannula then. One thing is also important is uh, take sterile gloves to work with it because um, also there is an ongoing discussion about biofilms and infections. And I think it is really, really a big mistake if you don't do it properly, if the disinfection is not that perfect. If you get, especially if you're using cannulas, if you get some infection down there, then uh, you might have problems which are really ongoing and persisting over months and years. Okay, we did a clear disinfection of the face before, so I'm quite on the safe side. I take a compress. I take the cannula after. I, I start with a normal needle now, with a volume. This is volume. This was mixed with lidocaine, and this is without. So, okay. Going to the temporal area. I will treat uh, first the right side, then we, you have a, a review on the, on the face to see the difference. To treat the temporal area, here I don't need normally uh, a lidocaine, fill, so it's a pure volume. And uh, you have here two layers. You have the, uh, the deep plane and the superficial plane separated by uh, two fascias, which means you don't, I, I don't suggest to go to the bone because then you're under the muscle. You could because it's a safe area, but more better is you try to get between those two layers, between those two. Um, fascias, and then you make your inf injection perpendicular, slowly, smooth, you turn the needle, 
What are you injecting now? Volume. Volume, yes. And what is the deepness of the injection? Uh, it's half a, half a needle. That is something which can happen because you have a lot of veins here. And then you make your compression. And I like to massage it in this area because it spreads in between those two fascias. Sometime, uh, something you must uh, take into account is that you, uh, due, to the uh, due to the veins which are coming up here, you almost have a risk of bruising. If you want to be on the safe side, then it's better to take a cannula in this area. But I just wanted to show you how the different approaches are. So. If you see that there's a bruising, then take a compress, keep your finger on, and keep it for some seconds or minutes. Okay. Slowly you can turn the needle and uh, making an injection into this fossa. Okay. Slight massage. Uh, there's also a rule and uh, Alexander also pointed it out before. It's, uh, for me it's important to start from the top to the bottom because every tiny injection you make on the top makes a slight uh, difference or change one level below which means if you make some injections here or in the cheeks, so it might have a little bit of a lifting effect on the lower parts and uh, improve. So you won't need that much substance as if you only treat this uh, particular area. Okay. But anyway, you have injected the, the temple ureus. But. You have inject uh, temple yes. urea. Yeah. How much you have inject? Zero point five. And uh, well, uh, and half a needle, yes. Yes. Depthness. You was uh, 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 on the bottom, or you inject just in the muscle? No, I try to be over the muscle in between those two layers: the superficial uh -huh. fascia and the deep temporal fascia. So we inject half a c half cc volume superficially volume. between the, the two, two layers. Yeah. Yes, okay. and I try now to spread it because normally you can do this quite easily. Okay, <coughs> good. I keep this. Now I take plural with a needle. <coughs> Now I'm going to dance around the orbit, which means I'm going to, for, to inject to the orbital rim. And I start at the teardrop deformity. Can I have a new compress? Oh, so yeah. Uh, Thomas, can you show us one small patient to sit her and let, uh, let doctors uh, soar her teardrop? Yes. Can she sit? Yeah. For a moment. Okay. Okay. okay, the tear trough uh, deformity is uh, quite in the middle where you see the white lines. The white lines are marking the orbital rim, which is very important because uh, you see here, this is the tear trough, and here I'm working on this depression around the orbital rim. You have here also some retaining ligament the septal retaining ligament, and, uh, and down there, there's the SOOF compartment. But I want, because she's got a little bit of a baggy eyelid here, and I want to camouflage this by staying deep on the bone and giving some projection in the midline area and in the lateral part. If you have any questions in the room, you can ask now. Okay. Сейчас? Нет, был волюм, а сейчас обычный. This is plural now. 
Now it's uh, basic plural, yes? Basic plural. Before was volume. Yes. And you don't need that much for the treating of the tear of deformity. What, which is very important is that you, if you're making your injection, hold your finger on the orbital rim. You could do it with the cannula. I think I'm more precise with uh, the needle. Um, we need better picture. We don't see the place of injection. Okay. Oh, yes, like this. Perfect. I'm, Perfect. Tu I'm touching the bone and I'm making a slight bolus injection by turning the needle. And I'm almost feeling with the tip of the needle. I'm almost grasping the bone. So, this was just 0 0.1 cc, not more. Uh, у нас нет картинки. Томас, yes. oh, yes. no, it's okay. It We have zero. lost the picture. Okay. How much you have in jet? 0.1. So it's enough because I want to work on the cheeks afterwards. Awesome. Here, this is also an area which might be risky because you have the sentinel vein coming up here. So, which means I see... Thomas, we have the question from the audience. Yes, please. Uh, okay, I will translate. Uh, well, the lady is asking why you are injecting this area by needle, not by cannula. Can you tell your version? Because I'm also injecting with a needle. I, I'm almost touching the bone and I'm, f I'm feeling more comfortable because I feel the bone and I feel that I'm under the muscle. And if I'm turning, I make just one in injection point and I'm turning the needle by injecting and then With a slight massage, I bring the substance, I squeeze it out. Not much. And you're doing a aspiration, bit. yes? Each no injection. aspiration, and I tell you why. Because I have a tiny needle. And uh, with the tiny needle, and we make some uh, work on it, and there should be an article. If you have a 31 gauche needle, you can aspirate whatever you want, you never get blood in. If you take a 27 gauche needle and you aspirate, then it might make sense because then you have a reflow of blood if you're in the, into the vessel. So you're never on the you safe wouldn't. side if you aspirate with a tiny needle, with a tiny gauche needle. So why not to inject by 27? Uh, because it, uh, it, it is more painful in this area, so I prefer to take a tiny okay. needle. And uh, in fact, there where I am injecting now, there is no artery which I can hit, which could make problems. So why don't taking a tiny needle here in this area? Okay, thank you. Okay, so this was just a tiny amount of 0.2 cc. Okay, then uh, I take now the cannula. Okay. And uh, with a cannula, it's also very important to be very safe and uh, very clear. And uh, if you're making your pre-hole with the needle, then you grab your zygoma, the zygomatic bone, you pinch, And then you make your pre-hole. And this one is a 27 gauche needle, a uh, cannula. And from this board sometimes it's, you squeeze it. And then you're in. And what I want to make is a little bit of a projection in the cheek area. You see, I'm, I'm quite deep now. You see where the cannula is? You can see it exactly. I want to go around the or lower part of the orbit uh, in front of the zygoma. And this is also mixed with lidocaine. You see where I am? It's volume and lidocaine mixed. Uh, why with lidocaine? Because now I'm in the region of the infraorbital nerve. 
And this might give me some anesthesia in this area. Thank you. I'll keep this. Okay. Now we have this projection here. We can model it. Bernard said uh, he doesn't do massages too much, so I like to have uh, it in my hands and uh, I don't squeeze it too much because I want to have just uh, like uh, a sculpture to bring it into the place I want to have, not too much. Now she's got a little bit of this OG curve and more oblique op uh, projection with 0 0.5 cc. Then, as that I take um, again the plural with the needle, and now I'm working on what kind of needle? This is, uh, I think, it's 27. Uh, it's so 27. A normal needle from the complex. Yes. yes. And uh, the point of treating the nasolabial, this triangle I showed you, uh, it's important to stay very superficial. And you see, uh, I will show you will see why. Uh, first is because uh, the angular artery runs there, but it's deeper than 0 0.5 cc, uh, millimeter down. And if you stay very superficial and you make your injection, you try to be in the deep dermis and the substance spreads in slowly and this is when you are in the right plane so you don't need that much and it spreads into the nasolabial okay this was also 0 0.2 cc to give uh, an Im improvement on this area okay we stay here because I have uh, it in my hands, and I want to work on this mental label fold here, and one also here. Th Thomas, once more, what was the depthness of the injection? Uh, very superficial. You try to stay in the deep dermis, which means it's uh, just 0 0.2 um, uh, uh, two millimeters okay. of one. Thank you. Also here, if you want to work on those mental label crease, you try to stay very superficial. Sorry. Okay, that's it. Okay, now I'm taking again volume with the needle. And we're soon finished on this side. And now I'm working on the mental, uh, on the mental retaining ligament with volume. And I try also to be very superficial here. So yeah. it's real volume or Re basic? Real volume. Volume and, and you superficial can injection? Superficial and then I go down to the depth. Aha, uh -huh. so it will be double injection. Yes. Double stage, superficial and uh, deep, yes. Here you could aspirate because now I have a 27 gauge needle and this could... Uh, make some uh, you could see if there's a, if you're in the artery but normally yeah here you should be aware of course because you have the facial artery running up here and now we're going for the contour here <coughs> here I'm staying quite deep So what is the idea of this injection? What this you, injection what should make achieve? the harmonization of the mandibular angle because uh, here she has this retaining ligament and she has uh, these jowls and it's also to camouflage the sagging and, uh, and uh, the jowl. And from an anatomical point of view, where exactly you are uh, injecting, where exactly you are trying to base the filler. And here it is, the, uh, if you see, uh, there is an impression of the skin here, and this is the insertion of uh, the mandibular retaining ligament. Here you have the platysma cutaneous retaining ligament, and uh, if you know anatomically, 
that they're uh, they're retaining, which means in between this uh, soft tissue is sagging down. So if you're making your injection around those ligaments, it will straight up a little bit the soft tissue and give more projection and a more harmonious curve of uh, the mandibular angle. So we, we, we can tell that uh, you are injecting under the ligament not to give the possibility of so the protrusion, yes? Right. Perfect, thank you. And at least uh, I'm giving a little bit of projection to the skin, chin area, very deep. And then we're done on this side. So. Okay. So now I'll let you sit her up, please. Could you sit up? Just to see. Turn a little bit right. No, no, right, right, right. Uh, <laughs> the cameraman has changed the camera. Uh, more right. Oh, perfect. Yeah? Yes, perfect. You see, that's not a lot of substance, but uh, what I think it's improved is this curve here. And um, maybe, maybe we could one? give some little bit of uh, injection Thomas. here. Yes? Hey, well, doctors are starting to vote. Is it possible or not to inject uh, the uh, middle set? I mean, exactly the, the cheek. The cheek, the cheek. Don't you think it will be better to give more volume Here? into the middle part of the face? Here? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, from the my projection uh, of the eye. From my uh, point of view, no. But uh, it almost belongs to your own possibilities and um, aesthetic uh, view. So might be that people are more... Um, uh, satisfied with having more protection here. I think I don't want to overdo it because she's got now a good transition here and here. And what and is uh, the total quantity of fillers uh, that you have okay. been injecting to this half, uh, half of the uh, face? I think it was uh, zero, uh, 2.5. 2.5? Yes. CC? Yeah. Per half part. Okay, I hard. think also it's enough. It's enough. Because in real life, there is no possibility to inject three, four syringes per session. Right. Okay. Okay, now turn. And up. No, we saw the period. So, in principle, it's not bad, but, like, we have to be careful with the needle. Uh, one moment, Thomas, I have uh, something to tell to the audience. Yes. We, of course, can show now. We can show on the master class how to cut 8 shards, right? Вы это в жизни будете повторять? Нет. Мастер-класс должен быть таким, чтобы вы завтра пришли к себе в клинику и повторили а, то, что вы видели. Восемь шприцов никто не, не колет сразу. Да, я слушаю вас. Я, 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 я. Окей, окей. So we change, I change, What and uh, Он, I think того, we will. Окей, окей, окей. Good. Next one is waiting. So I hope you had some ideas. You know, it might be a little bit confusing, but I think uh, you get some ideas on your way. Okay. Uh, so well, uh, now, Thomas, 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 yeah? we have a question. Uh, well, one doctor is asking that you was injecting under the ligament, yes, I mean the lower contract. And I, I'm not sure, but I'm just translating what I have heard, that the length of that ligament is not more than three centimeters. And to put two boluses on this distance, yes, three centimeters, uh, there is the risk that they will be contouring. Uh, I, I'm not sure. It is just a question, and you have to answer. Yeah, yeah. This ligament is really tiny ligament. It has maybe around three millimeters or f uh, four millimeters of length. So um, the idea is uh, to place the substance around this ligament like a column and uh, to reinforce this column and uh, to raise a little bit the soft tissue which the ligament is grasping. So this ligament comes from the bone and goes into the skin and holds the skin into the place. And uh, it's almost due to the sagging, 
uh, of the soft tissue, you see the insertions of these ligaments. And the idea is to place it around and to camouflage so you don't need that much of uh, a substance and volume there. And you can make a really good job to recontour the oh, face. Okay, we will turn back to that question at the end of this uh, session okay. of all our forum because uh, the lady is surgeon and she wants to discuss with you personally. Okay. Okay. Now I did the whole uh, the half face and now I charge her money for the next side. Thank you. <laughs> okay.